Welcome. In this video, I'm going to talk about installing the Synology Drive client on an Ubuntu system. I'm using Ubuntu 18.04 LTS. A prerequisite to this is to install Synology Drive on your NAS. And I have a video on upgrading from Synology Cloud Station Server to Synology Drive. And you can watch that video and learn how to install Synology Drive. It's pretty much the same procedure. So the first thing we need to do is download the Synology client. So we'll type in our search on a browser. We'll type Synology, Synology Drive Client Download. And we'll go to Synology Download Center. And we'll click Product Type, and I'll choose NAS. And then for the product name, we'll type 918. And then I want to click on Desktop Utilities. And then on drive here, I want the Ubuntu 64-bit version, and I'll save this file. Then I'll go into my files and downloads, and I'll double click on this, and we'll open it up in the Ubuntu software program for install, and I'll click on install. It'll ask for my password, and I'll close this. So now I'll go down to my show applications and I'll type in here Synology and you'll see Synology Drive will come up and I'll click on that, say it's initializing. I'll click start now and then I'm going to type my IP address in here. If you have a Quick Connect ID, you could use that also and that's probably better, but for the tutorial I'm just using the IP address. So then you want to type your username and password and then I'll, be, I'll leave this enable SSL data transmission encryption checked. I'll hit next. And it'll ask if I want to switch to Quick Connect, and I'm going to say not now. And it'll say there's an SSL certificate that is not trusted, but I know that's a uh, self-signed certificate, so I'm okay with that. And then I click Next on this screen, and this will uh, ask if you want to use the local sync server, um, and I'll say maybe later. I'll hit Done, and it says Drive is ready to use. So this shows a little icon. This is at the bottom of the screen. Mine's at the top of the screen. I'll hit Next here. And this, uh, I'll walk through all these features. Okay. It looks like the installer was still running here in the background, so I'll say start Synology Drive. I think that's already done, so I'll close that. So at the top of the screen here, we'll see this little icon for Synology Drive, and we can hit System Tray Menu. And here is a pause button, so if you uh, are uploading a lot of information and you need to pause that temporarily for some reason, you can hit pause. If you click on the little folder here, this will open the uh, Synology Drive folder on your local system. Because that actually took quite a while to load. I don't know if it's because it's a new install or what. But uh, let me try and open that again. So this folder, for some reason, when you click on it, doesn't seem to open right away or at all. I don't know what the problem. It might be a bug in the system. So as opposed to clicking on that, you can click on your files here and look for your Synology Drive. We'll double click on that. And then you should see the uh, files in that. And these have synced over because I already had them on the system. So if I wanted, I could drag um, some new files on here. I'll drag this little link here. And there's a little icon there while it's syncing. So it synced pretty quickly. And then you can right click on these. And you'll see a little Synology Drive menu here. And you can create a sharing link. And you could send this link to, say, a family member, a coworker, a friend, if you wanted them to be able to access those files. You can also browse previous versions. If we go into our system tray here, we can also see these little dots in the lower right hand corner. And we can go to global settings. And we can close this screen. So this will show the um, global settings. You can say start drive upon user login, which is what we want. It says choose a default action when relinking occurs. And I'm going to choose this locally deleted files will be removed from the NAS because that's the way I want to use this. But you may choose the first option. And then I'll go to notifications here. It says show desktop notifications for file events. And it says show tips next time. So I went over to display. I'm going to uncheck the show tips next time the drive is launched. And then you can uh, choose some other options here. If we go to notifications, you'll see notifications here. We don't have any. And the logs here show the activity. And this shows activity on all the machines that have drive installed. And then you have sync tasks. So right now it's syncing this Synology drive folder you could add other folders here. So, so that's the basics of installing Synology Drive on Ubuntu 18.04 LTS. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would appreciate it. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.